In this video, we're looking at the procedure for testing free chlorine levels in a treated water supply using our digital photometer. This model is the Exact Chlorine Plus, which is available from Zychem in kit form with all the testing strips and items you'll need. For the test, you'll need the photometer, the DPD-1 strips, which come in the kit, the cleaning brush also from the kit, and obviously the water sample you're looking to test. First, take a DPD-1 strip out of the bottle and place it somewhere dry. Be sure to recap the bottle straight away. The test strips do best when they're kept away from light and moisture. Next, turn the photometer on using the zero on button if it's not already on. Use the menu button to toggle through to the menu item CL1, which is our selection for testing free chlorine. Then we're going to fill the sample cell in the unit three times with clean water, discarding between each fill. Rinsing the cell like this before we run our test will ensure the sample cell is free from cross-contamination or impurities, and that the results we get are going to be accurate for the water sample we're actually testing. After that is done, fill the cell up with the test sample and place down on a flat surface. Press the zero button to bring the display window to a value of zero, Put the cap on while you wait for that to occur. This process is bringing the unit back to zero to overwrite previous readings from the unit. Once the monitor is zeroed, take the cap off, pick up the DPD-1 strip, and we're going to place it into the cell and push the read button at the same time. When it's in the cell, just move it back and forth very slowly. The unit is going to count back from 20 to one. When it gets to one, remove the DPD test strip and recap the cell while the reading is calculated. Wait a few moments and then the unit will flash and display the calculated test reading. So this is showing 0.22, so in this water sample there's 0.22 ppm of free chlorine. Remember at the end of each test, discard the water in the cell and give the cell a clean with a dedicated cleaning brush. You don't want any of the dye from the reagents to linger in the cell and cross-contaminate future readings. For more information on water sanitizing products and testing equipment, contact Zychem or visit our website.